Good morning and welcome to BK News. Today is Wednesday, March 14th and it is an 8 a.m. in the building. I'm Maya. And I'm Tally. And here's today's news. The Dress Down Day associated with the Earth Day t-shirts has been changed to Friday, April 20th. Next week is the Dress Down Week for those individuals who sold $100 in product for our spring fundraisers. Because there are no classes that Friday, the last dress day of the dress down week will be Monday, March 26. Lanyards will be distributed at the end of the week. Thank you for your support. Together we raised $2,614. The dog tag dress down day previously scheduled for Friday, April 20th has been moved to Thursday, April 19th. Please mark these changes on your calendar. Hi, music friends. The folk group will rehearse today during SAP 1 in the band room. See Yogas for more details. A message from yearbook. Seniors, send in your baby pictures and senior quote to carneyyearbook1 at gmail.com or jill.rosati at gmail.com. They are due by this Friday. Seniors, if you have not done so, you must see Ms. Hansen to complete the process for the senior t-shirts. Your name is on the screen if you need to see Ms. Hansen. Again, seniors, go to see Ms. Hansen ASAP if you need to complete the process for the senior t-shirts. March 21st is World Down Syndrome Day, a global awareness day which has been officially observed by the United Nations. Please join the Rosati family, Coach Rick, Jill, and Michelle, to celebrate Mary Beth, the youngest Rosati. Mary, Mary Beth is a second grader at St. Cattery. For one dollar, you can wear a pair of crazy socks and sneakers and help celebrate World Down Syndrome Day and raise money for Gigi's Playhouse, a Down Syndrome Achievement Center. Now, we are going to turn to a student-produced pr news story. Students wrote, shot, and edited the story. Here's Leisha to tell us more about some of the coaches here at Bishop Kearney. In sports, it's often perceived that players are the most important assets to the team. While this may often be the case, coaches play a pivotal role in the success of a team. Coaches aren't just responsible for the player's success on the field, they are also responsible for the success of the players overall. You're going to expect me to hold you to high standards. Uh, we have certain behavioral expectations, academic expectations, uh, commitment to the team is huge. We talk about being selfless and being good teammates above everything else. Um, and if everybody can buy into that, they're always welcome to be part of our team. Compete, and not for themselves, but for each other. Um, when they play selfless soccer and they play because they like the guys they're playing with, it makes them more successful as individuals and as a team. Even though coaches have these responsibilities, being a coach has its fair share of obstacles. The hardest part is having to be an authority figure um, and having to discipline the girls. It's not easy for me to be the bad guy. While coaching comes with its challenges, it can also be very rewarding. For me, coaching was a way to combine my teaching background with the sport that I love. The best part about coaching is getting to interact and inspire young, talented athletes. Championships are a way to signify the hard work and success of a coach. Though championships don't come easy, coaches work to install values and push players to work hard in practice. If you instill good values and you instill the, the proper way to develop a person, it'll make them successful and that'll lead to championships. So I think you start uh, with values and you hope it turns into what you want it to turn into. Get one, two, you're going to turn the corner, okay? In practice, we typically plan it with a theme in mind, and we spend six to seven drills accomplishing that theme, and then two to three games at the end. A typical practice uh, consists of a lot of conditioning a lot of times, um, high pace, we like to do a lot of small games, get the legs going, uh, get the girls ready for the weekend. While it's the coaches' job to inspire and motivate athletes, coaches themselves need motivation and can find motivation through quotes from people they admire. My favorite quote is, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. My college coach said before one of our big games, um, he said, it's not going to be easy, but nothing worthwhile ever is. Yeah. <laughs> Outdoor track and track club will begin on Monday, March 19th with a brief team meeting and Coach Rosati's classroom, A3 at 3.15 p.m. Sixth grade students are encouraged to join us as part of our track club too. Track is much more than running. We offer full body workout, workouts, fitness instruction, strength and conditioning training. See Coach Rosati or Coach Smith to sign up or ask questions. Softball team shop that will now be open until midnight on Tuesday, March 20th. These items are open to anyone interested in purchasing any gear. 
So Maya, that was a really good student produced news story, wasn't it? Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, the students know. put a lot of work into that, so it turned out really well. Great stuff. Thank you for tuning in to BK News. I'm Betty. And I'm Melissa. And have a great day.